Welcome to Movement Minutes with Mark. Today we are talking about knee arthritis. One of my patients was experiencing pain in both of her knees and she was very busy. She had a, a day job and she had to pick up her kids from school later on in the afternoon and then she had to cook. So by six or seven o'clock, she was getting pain in both of her knees. And the reason why I know this pain, it was more from knee arthritis, is because she was very overweight. We ruled out some other conditions that she could have had. She wasn't having other potential causes of knee pain. And she had already gotten an x-ray and it showed severe arthritis, advanced stages of knee osteoarthritis. She had already been given cortisone injections for the past five years. And this person was in her mid forties. She wasn't, you know, very old. So considering all these factors, it was determined that the best exercises for her were more non weight bearing exercises. So these consist of doing things like sideline hip abductions, sideline clams, bridges, um, sitting knee extensions, knee extensions laying down as well. They're not, the, the, all these exercises, they're not putting a lot of body weight onto the knee. And they can be helpful for somebody who has severe osteoarthritis. And she was benefiting. She was, she was getting better. But the difficult thing about knee arthritis treatment is the fact that if you have excessive body weight and if you have so much breakdown of the cartilage, then that body weight can exacerbate and tend to uh, irritate the joint. And it, it becomes very difficult to make significant improvements without reducing your body weight. Or for some people, they don't feel better until they get an injection. And they're just getting injections year after year to try to prolong the point when they need to get a total knee replacement. This is the reality for many people. In the United States, the amount of total knee replacements is rising. And so we need to get these, um, the, all the different factors that are causing knee arthritis under control if we want to get to a point of reducing the number of people getting total knee replacements. And I believe that it's possible to do that. So with my, my patient, one of the things I told her that she can do, in addition to all these rehab exercises, was to be trying our curcumin supplement. There's a lot of research studies showing that curcumin, which is the active ingredient in turmeric, it can help to positively influence our body's re uh, inflammatory response. So I had her try it. She went to Amazon, she ordered a, ordered a bottle, and she took it, and after about two weeks, she, she came back into the clinic, and she told me that she had significantly lower pain. And I love hearing those stories. It's, it, it's amazing. And, she, and I asked her, I said, you know, is it because of the exercises? Obviously, we're doing physical therapy, so maybe you're getting better because of the rehab. And she said that she's been doing the rehab this entire time. And but previously, like she, we, it was, it's been about, it was about four months or about, sorry, four weeks of working with her. And then she said the first couple weeks, there was really no change. And then she started taking the turmeric extract supplement and she started to feel better. So it's, a, it's an anecdote. It's a story. It's a testimonial. It's not as good as a research study, obviously, but she believed that it was the turmeric that helped her. And I, there's a lot of research, specifically with knee osteoarthritis and curcumin. And many of these studies, they used a dose of about 1,500 milligrams per day. And that's more curcumin than what you're going to get in the powder that you have. So, and many of the supplements out there are also too low of a dose. And that's part of the reason why I think that she did benefit from active Adam's turmeric because it's a high potency dose of curcumin. You're getting about 
712.5 milligrams of curcuminoids. Those are the, the actual elements and compounds inside turmeric that provide those anti-inflammatory benefits. So if you want to learn more about the benefits of curcumin for knee osteoarthritis, then I'll provide a link below. Um, you can go to activeadams.com to learn more about that. And if you are dealing with knee osteoarthritis, I would encourage you to see a physical therapist, to consult with your doctor about what kind of program is the best for you. Different options include injections, pain medications, physical therapy, uh, possibly surgery down the road, maybe doing a, uh, a scope to clean out some of the cartilage in your knee. And hopefully science will start to show some other potential options with regenerative medicine. So these are all different, different ways that we can help to manage the pain from knee osteoarthritis. It's something that affects a lot of people. So uh, if you are dealing with this, I would just encourage you to just do your, do your best. Uh, something that helps people too is to lose weight and to go into the pool. Those are, those are two great options um, if you're dealing with this. And just realize that your pain is not always coming from the breakdown of the cartilage. Sometimes we have elevated pain responses because our body might have systemic inflammation. That's a big, that's a big contributor to pain. And that's why if you change or if you eat certain foods, you might notice that your, your levels of pain start to increase. And that happens all the time. So many times I'll have somebody come in and they'll say that once they uh, start to eat certain types of foods, they'll feel more pain. Or if they don't get a good night of rest or if they're stressed, then they'll also get pain. And that's because all these different factors in their life are filling their bucket it, until the point where their bucket overflows and then they start to feel pain. So our job and my job as a physical therapist is to help people um, keep their bucket from overflowing so they can stay below the threshold of pain. And if you can do that, and that's why I'm so passionate about it, because if you can do this, then you can greatly improve your quality of life. And we're all here just for a short period of time. You know, we, we shouldn't be living in so much pain. Pain is inevitable, but it would be a lot more enjoyable if we can reduce the level of pain that we deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you have any questions about this topic, about knee arthritis, about pain, about inflammation, about active Adams turmeric, then go ahead and write me a, a question below and I'll try to get back to you. I'll see you at the next video.